Welcome back to the balance side of entertainment. The good morning in Niger show. Now we've been reminding that before say Sunday, I would be just past that's two days ago, now they been celebrate World Health Day. Now, apart from saying we don't celebrate World Health Day, say they catch and make everybody they look their body. I even know myself, I they guilty, I don't look myself. I make it be say my voice not too clear where where. I they sneeze, they cough. And, and uh, when we finish from here, I will just tell my producer, I say, I'm going like that for hospital. Make I not work for the rest of the day. <laughs> but anyway, uh, World Health Day, what we celebrate, a lot of people they talk about the importance and the seriousness of why we're supposed to look at ourselves and our health. And then our health system inside of Bodo, Nigeria. And one important thing we also want to talk about, now health insurance. Uh, people never to still savvy the reason why health insurance, they're very, very important for all of us. And to discuss this particular, we'll get the Kajan medical doctor in the building. He not stay here. He not stay here to join us and to talk about uh, these things where we don't talk. Muna join us as we welcome Dr. Ayodiji inside the building this morning. Dr. Ayodiji, good morning. Good morning, my brother. How are you doing? Uh, very well, thank you. I go say, even though two days ago, I go still say, uh, happy World Health Day in Arias. Uh, even to come, many years to come. <laughs> many years to come. Very interesting, very true. All right, now first of all, we'd like to talk um, about medical care inside Obodo, Obodo Nigeria here. Uh, first of all, I will state the obvious ones where everybody know. We know say uh, with the complaint, according by waiting the, by the statistics where we get, uh, we no get enough doctors per the population where we get inside of Obodo, Nigeria. And even as the doctors no reach, we still get some when they travel from here. They go the proverbial greener pasture for inside abroad. Uh, we they call them brain drain because when they come up for here, they go outside. Uh, besides that, today people don't complain about facilities, inadequate facilities, inadequate hospitals. Uh, and then proper training, too, of medical and paramedical um, officers. Uh, we would like to ask your own opinion on top of this particular one. How do you take see the state of health care in Sayobodo, Nigeria? Being uh, the fact that you are a practicing medical doctor. Well, my brother, you don't talk and finish. Mm. Um, if you go pick up from the onset, where it is bend? Mm. Because you and I, they worry now, say doctors, they come out the country. You and I, they worry, say, healthcare facilities, no day enough. You and I know, say, the training, where would they get? They go train us, finish. And imagine, me and you never see some equipment before, where we say, would they read for book? Mm. How do you want us to perform to optimum? Now, universal health coverage, is it attainable in Nigeria? Maybe. If we look at the statistics, um, we have about a doctor to probably 20,000 patients currently in Nigeria, and it's getting worse. And that's a far cry from what the WHO states. How can you spend two minutes with a doctor and you think saying, go, you go down, check you, check your vitals, ask you the right questions, give you the right medication, you go, go. In two minutes, an average clinic, I go see 100 people. They wait for me for bench. In one day? In less than a day. <laughs> you know, it won't reach one day. Wow. Probably some few hours. And you want to make I give, make I give them the best. And the facility is no day, no day conducive. Now, look at it. The key, where developing countries, our uh, developed countries, so to say, don't pick up the health insurance. In the UK, you walk in because you don't pay to the NHS. In Saudi, you don't even pay. If you are a citizen, you have the right to anything. It's free health. From the day we then born you to the day where that person die. But yeah, what's the coverage? People they talk now at 30%, but it's far lower than that. And I believe this state itself now, the only state where try to bring all in workers, about 100,000 workers, under the insurance. What about the community? So the main pay now out of pocket. Where people go lean on their family or members of the community to support them to pay for these healthcare services. How that one won't work when the minimum wage is 18,000? Somewhere in the US, if you want bond, say you want bond, normal, you go pay like $4,000 to $10,000. Uh, say normal delivery. That's not millions now. Compare time to Nera, and you go enter hospital for you want bond for $20,000, 10000 5000 You said the imagine. Mm, it's serious. It's serious. Mm. So who's taking care of us? Is it the government? Is it the people? How is the wealth of this country distributed? You and I should ask. If you no get right to walk into an hospital and be cared for like a king, how the next generation won't be? So those are the questions that you and I go ask each other. 
an interesting question. Now, it is very, very interesting to say you talk about health insurance. We're going to talk to you with a good year. But before we go health insurance, I want to just ask, you know, a person who just enter Nigeria and where they hear all these kinds of things, they talk about the medical sector or the health sector in Nigeria, fear go catch the person, say, I must not seek for you before I go back to my country. But as we go ask them, are there any positives? We know that things know there as they're supposed to be. But some people go say, well, things know there as they be before. They get one prayer, we go talk, say, thank God, say, uh, I feel not the way I want, where I, I, I suppose they, but I not the way I did before. Mm -hmm. uh, so, are there any positives to take away from our health sector? Any better at all? More we we'll look around and say, hmm. if we thank God, say, at least this one don't good small, or this one don't good small. Plenty deal. Mm. A lot of positives. If people, they treat person without the necessary gadget, mm. and check the few of us where they come out, the medical capital multitude of us where they come out, go there. We are smart people we meet there. Why? Because in a crude way, we take treat. Imagine, say, trauma day, accident happen, they bring patient come. I don't use my hand, no, see, this person, they bleed for inside belly or they bleed for chest. I don't need to say, make a cry and go do CT scan yet. Because in a clinical diagnosis. But for Bodo in Boden, and I straight from CT scan within five minutes, two minutes. But for me to perform such here clinically, that means in my clinical equipment, they sharp. Mm. So the raw talents there for this country. And doctors here, they perform. There are some surgeries that they do for a year, but they know they announce. Arterial uh, venous fistulas, we just did. We say, na rare thing. If you want to go abroad, go do I mean, like $40,000. They do it for a year, probably under 120000 naira. If you want to do cesarean session abroad, you know how many millions you go pay? We pay up to $30,000 in, in the US. But yeah, 80,000, you go do and people they do have off. And life's the same. But one error, fear or call. Because we are not God. We only they care. Now only God they cure. And that error, people go hold on to say this doctor. Oh, well, doctor said now human being. He go tired now. If I they work from 5 a.m. Eh, and 1 a.m. I never sleep. Ah, you want make a perform uh, to my to the best of my ability. You understand? So the positives they were well here because the doctors will stay here to remain, then they ready to give their best. And they must be compensated uh, appropriately. And people must appreciate them. You know if you just enter one hospital because you they queue for like 10 minutes, can't they cost the doctor? If the doctor fall down for they say, because he never chop and 12 don't knock, he just collapse, you go jump up, go another table, go to another doctor. So that doctor will they die for there, she will be treat person, person will not treat himself. You understand? So the only negative if we did be say, what do you mean people go for this greener pasture where you talk? Now, inadequate remuneration. We are not paid adequately. That is one. Two, look at this issue. Say, person come, uh, there's this health act we come out. Say, person come my hospital. Blah, 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 blah. Emergency, in get right to care. Yes, I know dispute that one. I go, take care of them now. I know if you take care of them. Solve the issue that time, save that life. And after a while, he now says, uh, you know if you afford my money. You will come, we will say, now nah, almost dead. One catch you come out. We walk, God accept, and you they saved. Pay this amount now. You say you don't get money, you can't carry them go civil society organization. Go they sue me. And those who no look, say, okay, ah, the doctor went to, we, uh, I, I want to take feed. Mm. I want to pay salary. I want to pay proof for for in car. I want to replace those equipment when you use or those drugs. I want to send the children to go school. You know, provide that kind of amenity down for them. So who's taking care of the doctor? So I think that act should be amended. If you are going to attain universal health care coverage for all, mm. if it's attainable, then you have to protect both sides. I just want to want to happen. Maybe if you come and I give you care and you, you know fit to provide, where's the welfare system for this country? I suppose fit knock on government, say, <laughs> see, now one of your citizens will do so. Now our citizens, I don't take care of her, but you know get money to pay. So, Governor, you get, they owe me money. Oh. Very interesting. <laughs> if I this one another topic, we hopefully we'll go bring you inside the studio, come talk come again, because this one a very, very long, I mean, a subtopic, we'll we, we go talk about this one, say, mm. this act, really, they need to chuck eye inside this particular act. Yeah. All right, now come on for there, because we know so we know to get plenty of time. But we'll talk about health insurance. As we say, you don't already, as we to talk, eh? you don't let the cat out of the bag already. That's the next thing we're supposed to talk about. Now, first of all, I would like to make you briefly explain to me we don't understand. What it be health insurance, first of all? Well, as we go take no, say so insurance now like they bring money small, small. Mm. When the time of need reach, 
you go access something, even a fund. So health insurance can't be say they bring your money pulling effect to the column. Mm. Small, small money. Uh, not be everybody go go to the same time, right? But if small, small people, if people bring small, small money together, they put on somewhere. By the time we want or they need that care, if you go, you know, supposed to pay, right? Now we think they work for developed nations with that. But for yeah, things they change. Oh. The idea we say one is the coverage to uh, okay, no. Very few people they covered with this because people no one they put their money for where they no go see. Then two, the care that's been given is it up to what is expected? I'm in doubt. Why is this? Why should you pay a token of uh, 750 and you expect to make I do brain surgery for you for free? You understand? The remuneration no balance. What you they put in no balance to waiting suppose they. And three, the challenge is now here the race. So mm -hmm. say. You come hospital, I take care of you, finish. I won't come for my money from uh, these organizations where they manage. Three months, they never even pay me. And you don't come like four times. They never pay me for the first time where you come. So how you want me to collect that money from my pocket? How you want me to pay my staff where I don't offer care? And three, would the care, and four, would the care be quality driven? Maybe, maybe not. Because if they pay me chicken money and you don't pay on time, and drug will be way worth 50,000 a day, and I won't give you the one of 2,000. What thing would they do? You know, go balance. That's so what they provide and uh, bring up a uh, quackery. So people know they bother do the insurance. They go leg by leg by house, mm. go house for corner, for street, look for one person with no train, with the untrained or semi skilled. We go just give the injection, give them drink for house. So they go feel just work out for road, survive for that next day. You, you don't imagine, say, this universal healthcare coverage. We supposed to be the bedrock of the health uh, standard for this country is not taken serious. It's good business, but you and I, if you go market, ask people, say, come, you do insurance, they go tell you, what's it with that one? People, they fear, they say, they go tell you to fear, qua, to go there, God forbid, this one. Why? Say, I, I go to tell me, say, I go go hospital, go see, go see doctor. I don't want to see, God forbid, I don't go see. But well, if it happen to anybody, just normal day, eh, if you work at this market with the, say, okay, we could do free hypertension screening. No need to pay, we'll just check you. If you look 50 people, 30 of them, they are hypertensive. Once they're above 40 years. And in the work, you know, no. 10 out of them, now very, very high. We say anything if it happen, CV if it happen, if you get stroke the next minute, if you get heart attack the next minute. So people not key into these healthcare facilities. I mean, it's this um, healthcare insurance scheme. And I won't talk, make government use this one here, or people will be in the right positions. Healthcare is meant for all. If people are donating and they are paying, chickening their money, let it be of value. You understand? Mm. Put facilities in place. Ensure you do monitoring and evaluation. They go to the hospitals, go they see. Okay, we, 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 we kill you for NHISO. What do you don't get for here? Ah, you never get defibrillator. You don't get this machine for here. Okay, I want to uh, as, uh, assist you. Okay, we'll give you the machines. We'll go to the common time for money. You know, bring incentives. Mm. So people go feel stay. People go feel realize, okay, now me, day here, and you work. Okay, something will come at the end of the month. You understand? Because I told her to name the one show. Yeah, in fact. But that day, you don't collect the show for my hand. So they speak, you don't speak proper for PJ Self. Say I told I told I every wish. Don't be like you talk. Thank you so much. Um at, at this level, I, I believe say you don't already seriously, you don't clarify a lot of issues already within the short possible time we get. Even we myself are done the educated. But hopefully we would like to bring you into the studio again to still talk more matters concerning health because unfortunately right now we don't get enough time. But I would like to thank you so much say you join thank us in the building so much, yeah. to talk about um you know health insurance first of all and then to talk about the health sector instead of Bodo Nigeria. To enjoy more of this our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.